Bacalar, officially the municipality of Bacalar, Kapampangan, Balan ng Bacolod, is a third-class municipality in the province of Pampanga, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 39,460 people. History Don Guillermo Manabat, a rich landlord, is believed to be the founder of Bacalar. Historical records show that Bacalar has been in existence as a proposed settlement as early as 1571. When the Spaniards arrived they found Bacolod, its original name meant, level ground, because the site was formerly part of the Luzon coastline until eruptions from ancestral Mount Pinatubo raised it above the ocean floor. The first settlers of Bacalar were believed to be Malays that came from Atya in Sumatra led by Pandey Pira. It is believed to have been founded by Monmon, first cousin and sister-in-law of Malangzik, a son of Prince Balagtas. However, historians recorded the official foundation of Bacalar to have occurred in 1574 through a landlord named Guillermo Manabat, whose palatial house and resting place is now the site of the San Guillermo Church, hence the church's name. The name Bacolod was changed to Bacalar when the Spaniards came to the place. It was recorded to have been the first capital of Pampanga for two centuries 1698 to 1904, before the provincial seat was transferred to San Fernando in July 1904. In 1757, the provincial building, Casa Real, was constructed at the place where the Bacalar Elementary School is now located. During the British occupation of the Philippines, when Manila fell to the British, it became capital of the exiled government of Governor General Simón de Anda y Salazar from October 6, 1762 to May 30, 1764. The provincial offices were temporarily moved to Factoria, now San Isidro, Nueva Ecija. It remained the former capital town of Pampanga until the provincial seat of government was transferred to neighboring San Fernando in 1904. Through a decree of the King of Spain on November 9, 1765, Bacalar became Villa de Bacalar, one of the only three villas in the Philippines and was granted a special coat of arms. Simón de Anda organized an army of natives for the defense of Bacalar and with the aim of recapturing Manila. The coming of the American colonizers broke up the military form of government and instead political and economic reforms were introduced. A civil form of government was organized and was inaugurated on February 13, 1901 by Com. William H. Taft which took place in the Old Escuela de Arts y Oficias de Bacalar, later known as the Pampanga School of Arts and Trade and now the Don Honorio Ventura Technological State University, the first state university in Pampanga. The first provincial civil governor was Don Seferino Joven and the first municipal president of Bacalar was Don Estanislao Santos. Pampanga was acknowledged as the first province to have organized civil government in the Philippines by General Grant, the then President of the United States of America. When the Second World War broke out, Japanese fighter and bomber planes invaded the municipal town in Bacalar on December 1941 until the town was occupied by the Imperial Japanese forces in 1942. Pampangan guerrillas and Hukbalahap communist groups joined in an insurgency centered around the municipality of Bacalar, supported by local soldiers and military officers of the Philippine Commonwealth Army. Their attacks against the Japanese occupation continued until 1945, when Filipino and American forces liberated the municipality of Bacalar. In 1956, the sitio of Mesalipat was converted into a barrio. On the morning of October 1, 1995, over 20 feet 6. 1 meter, of lahar from the slopes of Mount Pinatubo and surrounding mountains buried the entire barangay of Cabalanchan among many others, killing hundreds of people. 18 out of the 21 barangays of Bacalar were buried. The Lahar flows from the mountains raised the town to its current level of an approximate 37 meters above sea level. Subsidence caused the constant reclaiming of parts of Pampanga by the sea. Barangays Bacalar is politically subdivided into 21 barangays. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Bacalar, Pampanga, was 39,460 people, with a density of 550 inhabitants per square kilometer or 1,400 inhabitants per square mile. 
Local government Like other towns in the Philippines, Bacalar is governed by a mayor and vice-mayor who are elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head and leads the town's departments in executing the ordinances and improving public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council Bayan, consisting of councilors from the barangays or barrios. Town Hall The municipal building is the former site of the Venturas House, one of Bacalar's most prominent families. On July 8, 1953, the new town hall was completed during the tenure of Mayor Manuel de Jesus. Its construction was a project of Senator Pablo Angeles Y. David, a native of Bacalar. Tourism A landmark in the town is the San Guillermo Parish Church known as the Sunken Church, and was one of the structures that was half buried by the lava flow. The church has since been renovated and is currently operational and may be accessed through what were once the second floor windows, now converted into doorways. The sunken church and town of Bacalar were used to shoot the 2009 television series May Bukas Pa. The Shrine of Our Lady of Lords in Cabetican is also famous for its annual pilgrimage and barrio fiestas. Other notable landmarks in Bacalar include memorial kilometer posts of the Bataan Death March along the MacArthur Highway, the oldest trade school in Far East, the Don Honorio Ventura Technological State University, the Simón de Anda y Salazar Monument at the Town Hall, Monument to the Capampangan Writer and Revolutionary Leader Juan Crisostomo Soto, 1867-1918, and Monument to Felix Galura y Napao. Bacalar's festivals are the Feast of San Guillermo and Nuestra Señora del Santísimo. Rosario, Lenable, which are celebrated every 10th day of February and 3rd Sunday of November, respectively. The Sunken Shrine Buried by the devastating Lahar flows of Mount Pinatubo eruption in June 1991, the Archdiocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Lords of Cabetican, abbreviated as Maluka, remains at the center of Marian Concordia pilgrimages and healing in Pampanga. Originally built as an annex to the older, smaller shrine, it is under the care of Fr. Ronnie Sao, healing priest and rector of the Archdiocesan Shrine. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System